Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO interview tutorials and today we came up with an interesting concept wherein many of our viewers told me that please prepare the video on uh, the roles and responsibilities for the WFM analyst. So today we are going to see this. So there are multiple roles and responsibilities. Uh, you can find it over the Google, you will find it over many of the portals but see like at the end uh, the interviewer will be more interested in uh, knowing the main parts or the main roles and responsibilities for the WFM. So today we will, uh, we will going uh, we will try to see and we'll keep an eye on it so that uh, we can clear our concept very easily. So let's move on today's video. Before moving to it, I would require everyone to please uh, check the channel and click on subscribe and bell icon so that uh, you will get a notification on all the upcoming videos. Also check out the playlist. You will find 137 plus videos which are basically related to Six Sigma certification, trainers, team leader, quality analyst, Excel dashboards, Google Data Studio, uh, reports in Excel, Google Sheet, many more videos are there guys which will help you in cracking the interviews uh, easily and also help you in uh, uh, learning new things and uh, you can uh, get an innovation to your current role and uh, have more success in your life. So let's start uh, today's video that is on roles and responsibility for the WFM analyst or else in the different companies. They will also tell it at, as an uh, MIS analyst. The first thing what is WFM that is workforce management and uh, what is all about. There is one video we have already created it. I will be adding the link in the description. Do check guys you will get to know what is WFM and uh, what they actually do uh, and uh, what are the roles and responsibilities we will check it today. So I have mentioned few important roles and responsibilities we will check one by one and we will try to learn it so that uh, we can give our answer very sharply to the interviewer and we can crack our interviews very easily. So let's start uh, the first point that is knowledge of MS Excel and uh, other MS Office uh, application. See if you are working as a WFM analyst, it is mandatory to have a knowledge on this particular application. The reason, the main work what you will do that is on the MS Excel or maybe Google Sheet or Spreadsheet you will use uh, and uh, you should know all the functions and formula. I would not say all, you should know at least uh, at 40 or 50 percent of the functions and formula so that you can uh, do your work very easily and smartly and get the data cuts very easily. And uh, the other MS Office uh, applications like uh, you should also know the presentation, how to prepare the presentation in the, and uh, you should also know like VBA or many more applications are there which are designed by the Microsoft. Analytical thinking on data is the main for WFM analyst. It is obvious if you are working as an MIS or WFM analyst which means you need to work on the data. You also need to do data mining. You also need to find the different cuts on the data so that you can give the required information to the management, to the client on the on the ask what they are looking for. So analytical skills much needed. Uh, also we have to see knowing the attendance and the shrinkage calculation process. This is basic guys because as we all know in our companies the roster management the shrinkage calculation everything will be done by the WFM team the operation team will share the inputs while taking from their employees and the WFM team will prepare the rosters and will plan the shrinkage and everything if you still want to know what is the formula for the shrinkage and all I will paste the link in our description please check that and you can uh, get the answer very easily next point that is ability to handle the pressure in the critical situation so this point I have intentionally written reason uh, you will be working on data the data cut may contain the data may contain the entries of thousands maybe in the lakhs as well there may be a high possibility wherein there may you may get a glitch you may get the data will not get respond very easily the sheet will get corrupted many more issues may occur or maybe the data cut what you have prepared data cut means whatever you require from that particular data suppose there is a data of the productivity report for 10 team leaders and the management asked he required the report for the bottom two or three team leader who did not meet the productivity target so this is a one data cut what the management is asking to you guys so you may find many challenges as well at that time you need to solve the things uh, while having a good patience so that you can do your task on time next communication and writing skill much needed this is basic for all the workflows all the department you should have a, have a good communication and written skills reason 
uh, if you are working on data sharing email to the client the email etiquettes are much needed which means you should have a, you would actually you should have a good communication skills there let's move to the next point that is on uh, uh, adhering on the align task and multitasking skills are much needed yes whatever task you have received there may be a possibilities you may receive a bulk task as well uh, depends on the situation and the criticality of the work so you should ha also have a capability of having the multitasking and uh, adhering to the uh, aligned task now uh, i i personally think if you guys are going for this particular opportunity for sure if you are working as an employee you wouldn't have done such kind of certifications but yes if you are getting selected and if you want to do any certification or else previously if you are from the engineering background or if you still have any uh, interest in data analyst or anything uh, you would have gone through such kind of certifications like uh, power bi tableau vba sql ms access so these are preferable if you have done this you can also tell to the interviewer that yes this all skills i have and have done a certification on it let's move to the next point that is ms excel and google sheet dashboard preparation this is a main point if you need a dashboard links there are certain dashboards i have prepared guys i will also add the links in the description so that you can easily uh, get to know how you can prepare a dashboards with the help of google sheets or ms excel sheets so you should also know because the dashboard will help you to get the data very easily that is the main advantage and i have seen personally where in wfm people will prepare multiple dashboards so that they can help the operation or the other department uh, in a better way to get their uh, information easily let's move to the next point on the roles and responsibility that is basic knowledge on google data studio so why i have added this particular point i have never seen this like people are using this uh, but there are few companies who are focusing on this particular tool as well so what is the help of this particular tool if you are using google sheet not a manual excel sheets in the google sheet you can prepare a dashboard with the help of google data studio which is actually known as looker studio i have added few videos about this in my playlist you can again check so that uh, you can easily get to know how you can prepare a dashboards with the help of google sheet because dashboard the raw data if you want to know the employee details in the raw data it will be quite difficult and if the dashboard is ready there then you can easily get the data in a different cuts there now sending the real time alert on the over tiqs now what is this over tiqs which means we have a volumes and that move to uh, about to the sla that is service level agreement if you're not aware with all those terms i would require i would request everyone to go back and check the playlist my playlist you will find all the videos on it because if you should you you know about this particular information then you can easily uh, understand what is this particular line now example there is an a calling process and uh, people are handling the call wherein the wfm analyst will continue monitor who is taking the long call who is not wrapping up the call very fastly he will also track he or she will also track like either the volumes are moving to the over sla which means the deadline is getting crossed and if anything is there that need to be managed that there should be a management done and which is done by the wfm team now let's move to the next point that is uh, finding the innovative ideas and get the different cuts on the data and data management this is self explainable you guys can get to know this point very easily able to manage forecasting and scheduling process this is the main thing a wfm person will do if you don't plan the forecasting like what is the volume we are getting out on the basis of the uh, earlier earlier nqs or earlier volume productions what we have seen if you want to know about this in a better form i have prepared one video on the wfm you can check out you will get to know the information there scheduling which means aligning the employees uh, designing their shift timings as per the workflows also checking like if we have to do multiple shift as the volume structure is going in a different way like we are observing the volumes are getting in the night then and we we cannot schedule the employees in the morning shift we have to uh, uh, ensure that the employees are available in the different shift as well so this is known as the scheduling process now the daily weekly monthly capacity management should be planned so this can be done on the basis of the previous data or the previous volumes what we have observed on the basis of that we can plan the capacity capacity in the sense how much a uh, volume can be processed by one employee or by one team or by one workflow for the given day 
or else it can be also planned in by a shift wise how much volume we can churn out uh, in one particular shift and that can be done and that can be planned and informed to the client so that uh, we can tell them this number of volumes can be uh, processed as per our capacity let's move to the next point that is sharing report we have also seen maybe you guys have also seen wfm will share multiple reports like late login not logged out productivity report zero production report zero production which means uh, the employee was available in the office but he did not process any volume or he she did not process any volume maybe there may be a cha challenges just challenges like uh, the tool was not working or that person was not feeling well anything may occur there such kind of reports they will uh, share and they will also take care of all the active headcount uh, the inactive headcount the the complete database of the employee they will take care of it and uh, the the capacity planning i have already explained to you guys and they will also identify the gap like uh, if the shift is not planned properly this point i have explained to you with the previous point uh, with the previous point uh, as well now the ast planning is also done by the wfm team suppose we are uh, we are introducing with a new workflow and a new queue is there on the basis of that how, what can be the ast if the ast is planned in such a way what can be the volumes can be done uh, by a, a single person everything will be decided by the wfm team along with the operation team so this is all certain roles and responsibilities for the wfm analyst so if you are going for the interview i would request there are approximately 10 to 20 points if you are uh, telling 15 points also in a correct way definitely i believe the interviewer will will get impressed and uh, there may be a high possibility they will choose you for the next role this is all about the roles and responsibility if you still have any doubt please let me know guys i will surely help you out with if you still have any points which i did not include and if you want to highlight that so please share us in the comment box definitely they will that will help you to the other colleagues as well who are looking to this particular video and uh, don't miss to subscribe and like the particular video because uh, this is helping me a lot and also check out our facebook instagram and linkedin page you will find multiple information on the upcoming vacancies over the India or maybe the other locations. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.